Hi, I'm Stuart from Elite Optical. Today we're going to take a look at the Hike Micro Thunder using its front clip-on configuration. We've previously looked at the rifle scope, but we're now launching the components that allow you to convert your Thunder into a front clip-on and attach it to an optical scope. At the heart of the Thunder is the thermal module. So this contains the lens system, which has got a 35mm focal length, back to a 384 by 288 thermal sensor. You've also then got the screen on the back. You'll notice around the very back here you've got a threaded section. This allows you to attach and remove different lens systems depending on the configuration that you want to use the Thunder in. So over on this side, these are the components that you need to use it as a rifle scope. So you've got your Picatinny rail and you've also got your lens system which includes the magnification. And then on this side, we've got the clip-on lens. This basically removes the magnification and prepares it to allow you to focus an optical scope onto the screen of the thermal unit. We've also got the front attachment. This fits to the objective bell of your optical scope and it gives you a component here. The idea would be that you leave this attached permanently to your optical scope. You can then quickly remove this lens system if you're shooting during the day or you don't want the thermal capability and then clip it in lock it in place and everything should return to zero and you can carry on shooting immediately. The thermal module recognises which lens system you're currently using and it adapts the display and it adapts the menus accordingly. So if you attach the rifle scope lens system you see the zero menu and you get a higher magnification image. You also get the picture in picture options and other things which are removed when you use the clip-on configuration and it gives you a completely different view and menu system that's all automatic, so you don't need to manually change any of the software. The system recognises the lens, it recognises what you're trying to do, and it adapts itself automatically. We've already covered the Thunder in its rifle scope configuration in some detail in a previous video. I'll make sure that we include the link below. Today we're just going to focus on the new components that we're adding that allow you to use it as the front clip-on. So the first is the lens. You'll notice there's three locating lugs that help you always return it to the same spot. That then screws into the unit and secures it very tightly. You'll also need one of these front adapters which are available in three sizes to closely match the objective of your optical rifle scope. Within the pack you'll find some rubber stickers which you fit inside, they stick to give a really close fit and that then locks the adapter tightly to the objective and the idea is that you, you leave that there and you just remove the thermal if you want to shoot with your scope in its optical configuration, clip it on, lock it on and it will return to zero every time. Here we have a clip shot through the thunder of me and my dog at about 75 to 80 yards away. It's a hot day and the sub 35 net D sensor is working really well. This is very similar to the scene that you get through your optical scope, although the magnification will alter the field of view. So, moving over to our rifle and our optical scope. We're using a Delta Titanium here. This is useful because it's got side focus, which you need really to focus the scope into the unit. We've got our adapter on the front there. You can see how easy that is to remove. We've fitted one of the thinner rubber shims inside. That's stuck to the inside of there, so it's a really tight, close finish. We simply attach that back on, use the quick release lever to lock it, and then that's not going anywhere. So that's a stable platform that we can leave on there and will always return to zero. So now to attach the Thunder, we simply pick this up. There's two red dots on top that help you locate. They push together, turn, and you can feel it click and lock into place. We then simply wind the collar down over and screw that until it's tight and that holds everything in place right the way back through the rifle. So once that's on there, we need to set the side focus or the side parallax of the scope to infinity. You then power it on and you can focus the image in the thermal using the focus on the front of the Thunder. So that was our overview of the Hike Micro Thunder thermal rifle scope and front clip-on and we've also looked at how you can use it as a monocular. If you've got any questions or you'd like to place an order, please give us a call. Thanks very much for watching.